Hey everybody, it's Kim from TrashyCrafter.com and today is kind of awesome because I'm going to be doing the very first craft tutorial ever for Trashy Crafter. The very first project we're going to kick off with is this flower pin. It's made out of wallpaper that was um, unused and the other paper that you see on there is the source pages. So the way your flower is, the bigger square pieces are to the outside and the smaller you go in, the smaller your flower gets. So you want to do a couple layers. I would usually do at least five layers so you get a well-rounded flower. So what I'm going to do is I'm doing five layers. So two of them are going to be of the wallpaper and the other two are going to be of the thesaurus. And essentially you want to start with one and then go to the next so it's opposite. So it's like a pattern. So like for this, I would do wallpaper and then a layer of the source petals and then a layer of wallpaper and then a layer of the source petals. And then the very top you would put the button or the B or what have you. So I'm going to start with wallpaper. So really your sizing depends on the material that you find. So for mine, I found a pretty gosh darn big piece of wallpaper. So I'm going to start out with a 5x5 five five square. So you want to use your ruler and go ahead and measure out your squares first. So my first one that I'm doing is going to be 5 inches. So I'm measuring that out. Okay, and then after the five inches, um, then it's going to be at the source page. So then I'm probably going to go down to three inches for my next square. Okay, so those are my two wallpaper squares. I'm going to cut them out real quick. It's okay if you can still see the line of the pen. That doesn't really matter because that's going to be on the back of your flower. So it's totally okay. You don't have to be exactly precise. Okay, once we get those two squares cut out, we're going to set those aside and we're going to do the thesaurus paper. So this is the wallpaper we just cut, the smaller size. We want to make sure that um, the thesaurus we're going to put below this is bigger than this petal. So we're going to start with the full page of the paper first. So this one is kind of already in a rectangle, so we're just going to fold that off to determine the size of our square. So that's going to be one of them. And then we can do a smaller one here. Okay, so that's going to be the next one. Okay, so now we've got four total and we need to make one more. So it's going to be wallpaper, thesaurus, wallpaper, thesaurus. Actually, we'll just do four of that. That looks okay. It looks like it's going to be enough layers. Typically, you want to do five, but we'll just do four today. So we'll start with the bigger paper so you can follow a little bit easier. Essentially what you're going to do is we're going to do a kind of fold that will help you to cut all the petals at once, essentially. So we're going to fold it like a pyramid first. Okay, we'll do both directions. Okay, and then we're going to kind of do, if any of you have done origami, this will look extremely familiar to you. 
It's, it's a little harder with the wallpaper because the wallpaper's got a really thick texture to it, but you're going to kind of pinch the paper into those two triangles so it folds kind of like that. If you've done origami, you'll know exactly. I mean, this thing probably has a name, this particular fold, but okay, so you're going to take your paper like that and fold it in as such. Okay. And then you're going to just push it over onto the other side also. So we went from that, just folding over to that so it's more um, even. And then you're going to take all of your squares and push them over to the side. So you just have one triangle. Okay, let me do that one more time. It's kind of tricky. So you have that weird origami shaped looking thing. You're going to take all the triangles and push it over to one side. And then if you'll notice on the bottom, everything's open. You want to go to the side that's folded, which is this side right here. Okay. And you're going to turn it upside down so your open parts are towards the top and your folded corner is towards the bottom. That's really important because if you cut the wrong spot, your petals aren't going to stay together. Okay. So turn it upside down. And this is where we make all the flowers. You can buy one of those fancy punches at the store. But this is the way to do it if you don't have a fancy punch. Okay, so we just cut along that bottom corner where they're all put together. And then you open it up and you got a flower. Super easy. So we're just going to do that to all the other pieces we have, okay? So we'll set that guy over there. All right, I'm just going to go through this kind of fast because I've already kind of showed you how to do it. Okay, so now we have all of our flower pieces. So what we're going to do is start to layer them. Okay, this is where a glue gun comes in. I think I might have forgot to mention glue gun, but you need a glue gun. So you're going to put your glue on each layer. Okay, and then you're going to glue that one like that. And when you put the layers on, you kind of want to turn the petals to where the V is so it fills in. So this one, we want to turn the petals that way to fill in the Vs. This way. And then our last flower, like that. Okay, so that's what our flower is going to look like. Okay. And then once we finish gluing all those on there, we would put the bead or um, the button in the center, 